Okay, y'all. Just drop whatever you're doing and turn up your radio, cause it's time for body love. Here's what happened last time. I have got to learn how to cook healthy meals that taste good too, and it wouldn't hurt you boys to learn it with me. I don't know, Mama. I've tried cooking and I was no good at it. So you want to go back to work to take Fidelia's place? Uh, you mean, do I want to come work for you? I guess so. <laughs> I'm not coming back to work for you. You're coming to work for me. So you just decided to take charge of my recovery. And now most of what I had left of my husband is lost forever. I, I guess that's... Ross? Wait, where are you going? I thought we were having a conversation here. Ross! Are you okay? Ross! Ross? Come on, talk to me. Whoa. Did that fall down or did you push that over? What do you think? <laughs> hey, you almost hit me with that. Then I'll have to keep at it until I do. Ow! Ross! We just uh, either Get out of here or hold still. Okay. Just tell me what you want. What do I want? Yes. What do I want? I, I want my life back. I want my health back. I want my old job at Body Love. I want, I, I want miles. Oh, Ross. I'm diabetic. I can accept that. Had to quit my job. I can accept that. Now, I got all these drugs. I'll always have to take them, and I can accept that, too. But I lost the only man I ever loved. And you took every reminder of him that I had. I was trying to help. I was. I was hoping... Do you know why I've never cried over losing Miles? Well, I... I've been wondering. Because his death doesn't make me sad. His death makes me mad. It's just not fair. Now, Roz, he did have high blood pressure, and he knew he needed to see a doctor about it, but he... You say, and that means he got what he deserved? No, no. I'm just trying to figure out what's happening. You've never thrown things at me before. Maybe I should have. They tell me that part of what killed Miles was how he, he held his feelings in. How he never let much show on the surface. Well, uh, you do know that breaking the furniture and throwing things at the wall, that's, that's not the best way to, you know, let your feelings out. I know that, Fidelia. And since I still feel like breaking some stuff, including... Your head. I'm going for a walk. I'm going for a long, long walk. Right now? Aren't you going to clean all this up? <laughs> After what you did to me, who do you think ought to be cleaning up this mess? Yeah, let me get the broom and a dustpan and I'll, I'll get started. Whoa, you're dressed and everything mighty early. Yeah, Mama wants the salon open at 8. I'm making some instant coffee. You want some? Yeah, thanks. I hope Mama Mabel knows what she's doing. And I hope you know what you're doing. Yeah, Mama and I don't always get along so well. I can just imagine what it'll be like working for her. <laughs> but be glad you got a job. I mean, I'm still looking and believe me, nobody is hiring. I know, Sonny. I'm just proud of you for staying with it and, well, keeping a positive attitude. <laughs> you mean not drinking. Okay, yeah. Got any interviews lined up today? Well, got to see a man at the junior college, and I heard they may be hiring some maintenance people. Maintenance? Sonny, that's your way to... I know, but if they got it, I'll take it. I know. I, I just... Oh, about to lose track of time. 
If I'm late, I'll hear about it all day. Okay, if I give you just a little kiss, you know, like husband and wives do going off to work? Oh, Sonny, I I just... Yeah, okay, well, you... <laughs> See you tonight. I know we're putting off talking about all of this. You'll see. I'm going to wait as long as it takes. I'll see you tonight. Was that Mama leaving? It was. She didn't make breakfast. You got it. Uh Uh-oh. Yeah, uh uh-oh is right. I think this is her plan for getting us to learn how to cook. I got to be at school soon. And TJ's not even up yet. I know all that, so let's get started. We can fry some eggs. I'll start melting some butter. No, now that's how we used to do it. Now, Nessa's been using some kind of, here it is, low-fat cooking spray. You just spray it in the pan. Okay, I hope that works. We're in a hurry, so I better turn the heat up way up. Yeah, and here are the eggs. Yeah, nothing to it. You, uh, seen Maya yet? No. Have you? If I didn't hear her moving around in her room sometimes, I swear she's not even here. Well, she was up and gone the day before I even got up. Sure wish we could get past this part. It's like suspense, you know? I mean, we're going to come face to face with her sooner or later. I'm ready to get to the part where we show her we don't think she's crazy. I mean, for once, I want her to... I think you need to flip those eggs over, son. Oh, oh, yeah. Where's the, you know, the the thing you flip stuff with? It should be... No, it's not over there. Guess we should have thought of thought of this before we even started. Ah, oh, here it is. Let me do it. Kind of tricky. I think we... Oh, oh, oh man, half burnt. Half still running. <sighs> Next time we won't turn the heat up so high. I'm thinking we're not, we're not getting breakfast today. What does TJ eat these days? Well, Mama's got him eating this whole wheat cereal thing. We'll pull down three bowls, son, and pray there's enough cereal in that box for all of us. Hey, is that my favorite granddaughter over there? Papa Mo, I I didn't expect to see you here. Hey, your grandma and I have had money in this bank since your mama was a baby. Mm. They're good folks here. They treat people like people. You're not kidding. I came here today to beg them to take me back, and they basically said, hey, people miss work for all kinds of health reasons, and that includes mental health. See what I'm saying? Guess I came to work at the right place. But how are you? How's Mama Mabel? You know she took the salon back over. Yeah, I I heard about that. And now she's gone all the time, and I'm tired of hanging around this big old house all by myself and listening to her come home and complain about how tired she is. That's why I'm at the bank. I don't get it. Don't tell nobody, but I'm taking out some of our savings, and I'm going to use it to have some fun. Stay tuned for more Body Love right after this. And now, back to Body Love. I know, Mama, but I have got to get back home. I'll see you first thing tomorrow. Lord, I love her, but I swear. Vanessa? Roz, how are you? I've been better. I just smashed every breakable object in my bedroom and almost knocked Fidelia out in the process. Oh? Yeah. So you uh you want to talk about it or I, I was hoping that you'd walk with me a few blocks. Uh, unless you need to get home right now and make supper. No, no, Sonny and Saul told me they're going to try to handle it themselves. They may burn the house down, but <laughs> Tell me about throwing things at Fidelia. We solved the mystery of the missing items. You mean all that stuff that belonged to Miles? His clothes and... The old photos of him and everything. Yes. My darling little sister took it on herself to relieve me of the anguish of those constant reminders. Roz, she did She did. She took it all. Every last thing that belonged to Miles. And she says she forgot what she did with some of it. 
and the rest she donated to the Salvation Army, because she's such a generous soul, you know. Oh, yes. She was able to buy back one suit. One. Lord. So that's all that's left of him in this world? One suit of clothes. Well, one suit. And a daughter. The daughter I didn't know he'd had with you. I guess you're finally ready to talk about this? I guess I am. So I'll pay attention, son. I need you to tell me what we do next. Oh, yeah. I got to reading something else in this cookbook. Read about what we're trying to cook right now. Yeah, the, the vegetables should be almost done. I think they are. What I don't see is how we're supposed to make this taste good. Dad, it's from Mama's cookbook. You already know it's, it's not going to taste like anything. Well, good morning, guys. Can I help in here? Maya, uh... Hey. Yeah, come on in. What kind of spice are you planning to put in that? Well, we really hadn't thought about it. Yeah. See here in the recipe, season to taste? We didn't know what that meant. That's how you make it taste good. Okay. Well, we didn't know that, and I'm thinking maybe your mother didn't know that either. Uh Um, How about some dill and some basil? Okay. You just sprinkled that right in, huh? Uh Uh-huh. And now taste the difference. Mm. Hey, hey, now that's good. That's all it takes. But if you like, we can start buying some other spices you'll like even better. Well, how about that? (laughs) You know, Maya, I'm not just glad you saved this thing. I mean, I'm really... Well, we both, we've been looking for a good time to tell you how much, you know... We're glad you're home. Glad you're back with us. Yeah, I listened to you guys trying to cook and I figured I'd better get in here and help. Well, we're not just glad because you can cook. I mean, it helps, but no. (laughs) Let it go, let it go, let it go. (laughs) Morris J. Love, I can't believe my eyes. How long has it been since the last time you came through that door? Too long, baby, that's all I know. My mom's been keeping such a close watch on me, I can't get out to do nothing except stay at home or hang around the barbershop. So how'd you get out today? Ain't you heard? She's gone back to the salon, taking body love over full time. Ah, I get it. So when the cat's away... Listen here. I figured out a long time ago that what Mabel don't know ain't gonna hurt her. Now set me up with a tall glass of whatever you got on tap and I'm gonna go talk to this sweet-looking young lady over there. Uh, you sure about all this, Mo? I mean, this don't sound like you. This sounds more like somebody who's gone a little crazy in the head. Well, you know what? Maybe I have. Now you better be here again next time to hear what's gonna happen on Body Love. There's my young friend, Saul Baxter. Are you still planning to be a doctor someday, Saul? Or have you decided to be a chef instead? (laughs) I don't know about being a chef, Dr. Parham, but I have discovered seasoning. Seasoning? Yeah. It turns out that that's what's wrong with Mama's healthy cooking. She took out the fat and the salt and butter and oil, but she didn't put anything in to take its place. But now we've discovered rosemary. And who's that? Your girlfriend? Rosemary is an herb, Dr. Parham. It tastes good when you add it to food. I know, Saul. I was just messing with you. What other herbs have you discovered? Oh, man. There's basil and oregano and dill and, man, about a million others. Some of them are good. I mean, really good. You're not kidding. And things that you used to fry in butter, you can try frying in a little olive oil instead. It's not the same taste, but it's a much healthier one and one I think you'll like. Doc, I'm going to go home and try that right now. This was Body Love, Episode 50, written by the Body Love Writers Group, recorded at Boutwell Studios by Jeff McKee, and directed by Will York. 
Featured in the cast were Vanessa Anderson, Cheryl Hall, Lewayne Childry, James McCarty Jr., Shalithia Williams, Audrey Quinn, Ken Talley, Vince Cusimano, and in the epilogue you heard from Dr. Grosbeck Parham. Body Love is a project of the University of Alabama at Birmingham School of Public Health and Department of Theater, produced by Lee Shackelford and Yoko Kawamura, and executive producer Dr. Connie Kohler. Support for the Body Love Radio Drama Project is provided by a matching grant from the Robert Wood Johnson Foundation, Princeton, New Jersey, along with the Joseph S. Bruno Charitable Foundation, the Community Foundation of Greater Birmingham, the Carefree Fund, the JLB Beeson Fund, the Alabama Department of Public Health, and Blue Cross Blue Shield of Alabama. Find out more about Body Love on our website, www.bodylove.org.